Fort Worth mayoral candidate Ann Zeta. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, first, I guess the obvious question, why are you running for Fort Worth mayor? You know, that is a common question that I get. So yes, um, I have served as the Fort Worth City Council representative for District 9 for the past seven years. Um, and I have a background in city and regional planning. So basically I have spent my entire career learning about running cities in the most efficient way possible. And so I believe that I'm the most qualified candidate to, to lead us forward in, at this very critical time. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, why do you think voters should go with you? There's another council member obviously running, there are others with different backgrounds as well. So what do you think separates you from everybody else? Yeah, I think that the main thing that separates me from everybody else is my educational background, the fact that I have a master's in city and regional planning. Um, my career working before I concentrated on raising my family was as a city planning consultant, where I worked for multiple municipalities throughout the Metroplex um, as their in-house planning staff and working on special projects for them. And then my service as an individual in my own neighborhood, coming up through that leadership in my own neighborhood and then in, um, empowering neighborhood leaders. Um, and then my service on the zoning commission, followed by running for council and representing district nine, which is kind of the urban core of the city. So many of the things that I worked on in district nine um, lend themselves to a broader um, city impact. So I definitely look forward to bringing some of those successes that we've seen in district nine to the entire city. And before we get into your priorities, let me ask, um, because the mayor doesn't run the city day by day, you've got a city manager. So um, how do you take your experiences in city planning and all that and apply that to the mayor's job, which doesn't do day by day, you know, running of the city? You know, I had that question when I ran for council because I did have a focus on my education and background. And I absolutely think that our city manager form of government is an excellent way to run a city. You have experts in their various fields leading those departments and doing the, the basic uh, nuts and bolts of running the city. But in no way is it a detriment to have the leadership that are in elected office have that, you know, similar expertise in those areas so that they can work alongside the people who have that expertise in leading the city. So while I have that expertise and background, I think that lends itself to working very closely alongside the experts um, in city government that are employees of the city, but also having, of course, the, the citizens that I'm representing, the residents that I'm representing, and being a resident of this city as well. So I just think I bring all of those things together um, for a very powerful impact and um, expertise for making this city a great place to live and work and play. So what are your priorities? So our city, we constantly talk about how quickly the city is growing. And that has shown um, to be a challenge. And a lot of the time we say, oh, we're just growing very fast. We're growing very fast. And there's been a, a lot of reaction to that instead of proactive planning, getting back to my background and expertise in planning. Um, and I, so I think one of my priorities is to be more thoughtful in planning for the growth that is occurring and not just reacting to it. So I've been successful in that, leading District 9. Um, a lot of the growth has occurred in the urban core of the city. And so managing the ability to take care of our aging infrastructure, um, have new development that fits into existing development, adaptive reuse of areas that have not um, have had their challenges over the years as they've aged. Um, bringing great jobs to our city is another focus. Really, really supporting the entrepreneurs and small businesses that exist in this city and supporting them in the way that we've, we've done a good job of trying to attract people from other places to come here and bring those jobs. Um, but just definitely in this last storm that we all weathered, um, seeing what that has done to our aging infrastructure and making sure that we focus on that and bring good jobs and just uphold the quality of life that we have in this city as this growth continues to occur. So what do you think the key is in attracting uh, jobs to Fort Worth? Because obviously there have been a lot of companies who've relocated from California, from the Northeast, from the upper Midwest. And, but then you have to compete with 
you work with other cities in the DFW area, but then you're also trying to get those jobs to Fort Worth. So what do you think the key is in landing the big companies? Well, I mean, that goes back to some of the successes we've had in District 9. Um, when companies are looking to move to a place, some, looking back at when Amazon was looking for a second headquarters, one of the things they talked about was public transportation. And anybody that knows me knows that that's a passion of mine, making sure that we have a multimodal transit system here that allows us to accommodate folks in whatever mode of transit travel that they wish to do. So if you wanna drive your car having roads that don't have potholes, and are not completely congested. If you want to walk, ride a bike, or take public transportation, that you have that available to you as well. So bringing the things to a city, um, a mix of uses in our urban core, services, and ways of getting around the city while maintaining the quality of life for people that live here, people who work here, and people who come and visit us here are all things that I would like to work on in order to make this attractive place. I mean, clearly it's attractive because people are coming here, um, but making sure that you have that, the core foundation that you need for a world-class city. And one of those things is, you know, we have world-class museums, we have great things here already, but one of the things we are lacking that we should concentrate a little bit more on is having a multimodal transportation system to support businesses that want to come here. That's what they're looking for. They also are looking for quality education. So being a support to our ISDs that um, are in the city of Fort Worth and making sure that we support them in the efforts that they do, the superintendents of those ISDs and the school boards working alongside them and making sure that we're supporting our schools here as well so that there's quality education and then access to jobs. So if you live in a certain area, being able to get to a job, if you live in other parts of the city, being able to get to jobs, get to education, and all of those things together. Another issue that we've seen come to the fore in the last year is uh, public safety and police reform. And so I'm wondering what your thoughts are on this. My thoughts are, you know, that we work alongside our police department, similarly to what I was just talking about. We we're all partners in this together. So making sure that our police department can focus on their job of public safety, um, preventing crime and solving crime, and then making the focus of the other things that we've kind of foisted upon our police, dealing with homelessness, dealing with um, mental health issues, making sure that those are taken care of by folks that are experts in that field, similarly to what you were just discussing about having a city manager form of government. There are people that are best suited for doing certain jobs, and we need to make sure that we fully um, enable those people to do those jobs. So our police department should be focused on public safety and, and community policing and being an asset to the communities that they work in. And that's something that I think we're working on and continue to work on. And uh, is there any other priority that you have uh, for the city? I know we've talked about quite a bit. Yeah, we absolutely have. It's, um, you know, when people ask me what is my top priority, there are just, there are many, many things that I think that will be beneficial to our city moving forward. But mainly it's about making sure that this is a community that continues to be the friendly kind of small town feeling community that we currently have, but also brings the assets that come with being a larger community um, that we don't yet have necessarily provided in the best way, um, but also managing all of that and having the engagement of the folks that live here and the folks that choose to live here and work here in that process. We constantly talk about how our local government is the most impactful on our communities. And I don't think everybody is in, as is engaged in that as they should be or could be. And my goal is to bring that to people. I don't want them to see the city as something separate from themselves. I want everyone to believe that they are a part of the city and that we're all in this together, working for the best future possible. Ann Zeta, Fort Worth mayoral candidate. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you for the opportunity. And I look forward to serving this community in whatever capacity I can going forward.